guys. Oh. My voice is stupid. I sound like Steve-O. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. Please clear your throat. <clears> throat. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. My name is Rod, this is Lisa, like everybody knows. And welcome to 2020, guys. I mean, I'm excited. I hope everybody happy new year. had a happy new year. Um, you learn, you realize that you're getting old when uh, you don't do anything, just stay in bed, like we did, right? Yep. Well, it's life, what are you gonna do? But today's just gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys what we have in stock and also I wanna talk about a little bit of things that we're doing for 2020 with us and at the shop. On all our videos now, we're gonna take four comments, three comments, I was gonna do four, at least I don't want me to do four. So, two good comments, and one could be a negative comment, a question, or what else do you say? Suggestion. Suggestion, anything that um, we would think it would be interesting. Sorry, it was a message. I gotta take care of my customers. Um, but at the same time, I wanna show a reaction, okay? So I wanna, I wanna read that comment and show a reaction at the same time. Like one time I, I um, saw this comment that was like, uh, Rod looks like a uh, gnome yard, right? No. On steroids. Gnome yard? Yeah. Oh, yard gnome. Yes. Okay, yard gnome. Uh, and I, I was laughing so hard with that, so um, I think it'll be cool to see different comments for both of us, and you know, if there's negative comments, we'll reply. But if you're, if you have the, the, the way of us to talk bad, you gotta have to take the, the reply. So don't cry with the reply as well, because there's a lot of people like that, that, you know, they're um, warriors behind the computer, but when it comes to reply, you know, they'll cry. So take it, you know, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to take it. Um, and like I said, if you're not doing something right, you're not gonna have haters. We're obviously doing something right. We got haters everywhere. I have people that call me and say, hey man, I just went to the store. Um, when I talk about you, the owner started talking bad, like you got arrested, you know, for some illegal fish and all that stuff. Listen, I don't, I don't care, all right? They can talk as bad as much as they want. It doesn't bother me. There's nothing, nothing that you can say, it'll bother me. Is it my line? Am I lying? No. The only two things that you can do is hurt my family or hurt my dog. Now hurt you, that's it. But talk, you can talk as much as you want. Are you ready for this? Yeah. So as you know, we renovated the whole shop. We're almost done. And like I said, sorry for my Steve-O voice. <clears throat> now we have to remove that tank out of there because it blew open in the back. But besides that, we're almost done. Um, we're taking the tank out of our office, right, and putting it over there, just because it's, it's too much. And a lot of times we're trying to talk on the phone and Lisa convinced me that it's better to have no tanks there, also to have more space for our dogs, because we bring them to work every day. But enough of talking, let me just show you what we have. In this tank right here, we're rescuing this cat, uh, red-tailed catfish. It had a lot of ammonia burns when he came in. Whoa. So we got him on medicine. Um, I should doing a water change with him right now. I had to put him in a small tank to be able to treat him because in a bigger tank it would be very difficult to treat him specifically. Over here we have yellow cowberries hybrids. <clears throat> in this tank we have the cupid cichlids and the dwarf, no, not the bender, that's the dwarf, dwarf cichlid. See, I am learning about all these little fish. These guys are the parrot cichlids, really cool South American. Apparently, they get pretty big. Um, these are what? Slender geophagus. Slender geophagus, and the other one is the Inerita? Yep. Yeah, Severum. Yeah, Inerita Severum. Severum. All right, cool. So, we're learning. We still got some elephant nose. Little Calberry mono hybrids. Tiger Shovenos, Detnoids. Down here we have some gulpers. Some of them coming out with like a, a it's not ick, but I noticed that on only gulpers. Like it's just skin. So we're treating them. Are these all sold out? A lot of these fish not are sold, yet. guys. 
we got to ship a bunch of them tomorrow for the orders that came in around Christmas. So this is the spotter pike or uh, needle nose gar. Silver arrows. These are the ones, the wilds for, from Peru. Up here we have the jelly catfish that we're gonna be doing a uh, sale on all these fish as well because we got more fish coming in. Down here is the Saint of Broke. In this tank right here we have this beautiful, look how beautiful, look at his face, look how beautiful that is. I'm about to name him Lisa. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> this thing's so ugly. And then we got the short body um, red snooks, which are pretty cool. They eat pretty much everything. Frozen feeders, pellets. <clears throat> Over here we have the green Texas. Parrots, convict parrots. Blue Mashir up here. Oh, Mashir. Some good sized ones in there. Albino pacus. Remember guys, these, these are not tank fish. They're better in ponds because they get massive. So unless you have a really big tank, don't bother taking these guys in uh, because you're just gonna end up bringing it back for us to rescue or bring it to a rescue facility. Up here we have, this guy's the... Weimarer. Wait, which one is the Weimarer or whatever? The, this colorful ones? Yeah. And what are those? I mean, they're, they are, they're really pretty. So all of them came from, from Colombia. Uh, we got the short body barbs, regular pacos on this side. Got it. You already showed it? Got it. We still have about three Azul Tamensis hybrids. Half bender pike. These guys are around six to seven inches. <clears throat> A couple more red tails left. Oh, I'm sorry, you were showing the Johanna Pike up here? Yeah. Okay, we got a pair of Johanna Pikes. And down here, I believe all these guys are sold. We gotta ship them tomorrow. Maybe we got a couple of dolphins left. Right here we have bigger tiger shovenos. And look at this, a bigger one here. And a bigger one here. What's that, the same? Same breed, right? Yeah, these are all tiger shovelnails. Okay. So we have different sizes on those guys. Albino Oscar, uh, green pikes, ruby Oscar. There's a big tiger shovelnails hybrid back there. See it? Oh, yeah. That guy's got to be like 18, 22 inches. Came from here. <clears throat> Over here we have this huge South American lungfish. So 24 inches, probably more. Albino, silver. albino silvers. There's a pair of large albinos. Um, we'll sell them a pair or separate. And um, what? Oh, albino clowns. Yes, yes. This guy's really cool. He eats like a champ. He's so. I know, I should have kept them. More yellow Kelberry hybrids. And I think these guys are sold as well, all yeah. these. All right. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we got the, um, these dudes. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. Okay, so let's show these guys. These are the flag tails. They came in a really good size. They're about nine to 10 inches. Um, we sold a few of them, but we still got those guys left. <clears throat> and here we have the Armadas. This, these guys right here, the Tetras, they're uh, the same thing as the Buck Tooth Tetra from South America, but these are from Asia. And they'll eat pretty much anything, feeder fish, pellets, anything you throw in there. So I'll do a whole deal on a group. Wild caught silver arrows from Colombia. Really, really high quality on these guys. I think we have one or two left of the bumblebee group, um, bumblebee group, bumblebee catfish back there. Come on. Film the one on the front here. Oh, there. Yeah, he's behind the lodge, so. 
All right, we sold this guy, which I really contemplating on, on keeping him. Look how big his tail is. So he sold black arowanas. We got some really, really good size on them. These guys are like 12, 13 inches, and we have some smaller ones of five, six inches on this side. We have, still have one red umvi left. He's up here. He's doing really good too. He's eating. That's what they do. Mine, the one that I kept, he does that the same thing. He stays on the corner of the tanks, and as soon as you put a feeder in there, he'll just go for it. Is that everything on this side? That's it, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got the monster size um, bow fins. So we got a couple pieces of these bow fins. They're really, really cool fish. They remind me of like a underwater dinosaur with their faces. Really cool. So we got a couple of them. We don't have them on the website yet, but if you see, like I said, if you see anything you like, send us a message or it could be a text, put them in an email. And we will work something out, guys because we have to make space for new fish. Oh, did the color come in? Who? The color? Yeah. So there you go. Hopefully um, our next video, maybe we'll do it tonight. Hopefully our next video will be the, the shot color challenge and that's for you and for you guys as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully the next video, my voice will be a lot better and um, we can do different things. But remember, on the comments below, we're gonna keep the comments, the two comments to keep the most thumbs up. We're gonna do a shout out on those comments. And we're also gonna pick a negative or questionable comment. Wait, yeah. questionable is the right word? Yeah, that's fine. All right, you got it. See you guys next time.